Hi there, Tech on Go. I'm Nikita Vinay signing in and you're watching Nikki Skill Tech YouTube channel. In today's class, we are going to solve 2019 NSQF Level 2 Information Technology Question Paper as a single part recorded classes and in which we will include MCQs, fill in the blanks and match the following in a single take along with additional answers and also the chapter name mentioning. So without wasting time, come let us get into the classes. As you can see here, I am having IT question paper of 2019 year examination. In that part A of a first main includes multiple choice questions for 7 marks with the 7 questions where each carries 1 mark. Come let us solve it. Question number 1 is, the accessibility function which is designed for people who have a vision impairment is Option A filter keys, option B toggle keys, C sticky keys and D mouse keys. I am giving you some additional knowledge within a syllabus which is frequently asked in different question papers. There are several keys which have their specific function. Come let us see what it is. I have several keys listed over here and their specific function also. Sticky keys are used for people who have a physical disability and the filter keys are used to ignore the repeated keystrokes. Toggle keys are used for people who have a vision impairment. Sound sentry key is used for people who have an auditory impairment and the mouse key is used for people who have a difficulty in using mouse and serial keys are used for people who have difficulty in using mouse and keyboard both. I hope you have got answer over here. Yes, the toggle key is the answer. Toggle key is used for people who have a vision impairment. Our second question is, the first character in the first word of the selected sentence will be converted to capital letter by selecting what? They have given us options. Option A, lowercase. Option B, uppercase. Option C, sentence case. Option D, toggle case. In sentence case, the first letter in a sentence will be capital. In lower case, each letter in a sentence will be in a small letter itself. For upper case, each letter in a sentence will be in a big letters. Capitalize each word is each first letter of a each word will be in a capital letter. And the toggle case, small letters will be converted to capital and the capital letters will be converted to small letter. I hope you got your answer here. The first character in the first word of a selected sentence will be converted to capital letter by selecting what? Only the first word of a selected sentence and the first letter will be converted to capital which is none other than sentence case. A ABC company, this line has to be inserted at the top of each page of a document. The option for this is available under the group is dash. They are talking about top of each page of a document. Then we will come to know that it is a header itself. And the header is available in a header footer group of inserted tab. While coming to additional knowledge about header, we can include the following in a headers like logo, company name, book name, heading, page number, images, author name, etc. And the chapter name is managing headers in a word processing unit. Question number 4. Conditional formatting cannot control font size, border color, font color, number format. The task for you is you have to find out among these which cannot be controlled by conditional formatting. For this, you must be knowing which can be controlled by conditional formatting. We can control number format, font, font style, font color, fill color and fill pattern, border color and border style. And we cannot control using conditional formatting are font size and border thickness. I hope you got your answer. According to question paper, the answer is font size and we get this in a chapter conditional formatting of a spreadsheet unit. Question number 5. The option available under arranging window dialog box while opening multiple windows in a spreadsheet are option A horizontal, B square, C tight and D through. The options we get are tiled, horizontal, vertical and cascade. 
According to question paper, the answer is horizontal and we get this information in a chapter Managing Workbook Views Spreadsheet Unit. Question number 6. A table can be inserted into a presentation using Option A. Design option B. Chart option C. Title and content option D. Group option A table can be inserted in two ways using Insert tab and using Title and content option. According to question paper, the answer is Title and content option. We get this information in a chapter Working with tables PowerPoint presentation unit. The last question in a multiple choice question, question number 7, which command is not available when the meeting organizer has restricted meeting proposal? Option A, accept, B, tentative, C, decline, D, propose new time. When the meeting organizer has restricted meeting proposal, the propose new time command is not available. We get this information in a chapter, response respond to a meeting request in an email messaging unit. Fill in the plans type question answers. Question number 8. The guided text used by the presenter during presentation is called speaker notes. We get this information in a chapter inserting speaker notes of a PowerPoint presentation unit. Question number 9. To print the detail of private appointments, uncheck dash checkbox. While printing, to prevent printing private appointments are hide details of private appointment checkbox. The answer is hide details of private appointments. We get this information in a chapter print a calendar in an email messaging unit. Last question, question number 10 in a fill in the blanks. The basic building blocks of a database are tables. We get this information in a chapter creating a table in a database development unit. According to this question paper, the match the following was based upon the groups and the tabs used in Excel. Question number one, the format option. In Excel, we get a format option in cells group of a home tab. Question number two, page layout. Here, don't be confused that the page layout option is itself a tab, no ways. In Excel, we get a page layout option in workbook views group in a view tab. So in this question paper, the match the followings are on upon Excel itself. Question number 3, conditional formatting option is available in styles group of home tab. And question number 4, the share workbook option is available in changes group of review tab. Hence finishes the part 1 recorded class of question paper solving of NSQF IT level 2 2019. I hope you understood the class. Start preparing now for your annual exams and watch the next part of a question paper solving now here in the end screen. Thank you very much.